Hello guys, welcome back to the next video where we are going to solve the ISC specimen question paper 2023 for accountancy and here we are going to solve the question 10, the OR question. Alright, this is also a sum on issue of shares. However, there are certain tricks that you need to keep in mind in order to do it flawlessly. Okay, if you have missed out the previous videos, then check out the entire playlist from the description box below. And if you don't want to miss out any future videos, then hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to receive notifications. This is the issue of shares for Tupsi Limited, who invited applications for 55,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each. However, applications were received for only 50,000 shares. So this is a case of under subscription. On application, we have three rupees on allotment 5 rupees and the balance 2 rupees on call all the shares were duly allotted by the company and rupees 2 lakh 49000 were received by the company on allotment and 99400 on call now again this is the important area where you have to understand how many shares were not paid for like how many shares were defaulters and based on that we will calculate our calls in arrears and also this will be required for for future entry so let's pick up the journal entries from the beginning first entry is bank account debit to share application account so we have 50,000 shares on that we are receiving the application money of rupees 3 per share so that is 1,50,000 being application money received for 50,000 equity shares transferring this money to the share capital account there is nothing else so straight away this will be 1,50,000 as well equity share application account debit to equity share capital account now making the rotten money due on 50,000 equity shares at the rate rupees 5 each so that will be 2,50,000 alright and the next entry is receiving the allotment money where we have been given how much we have received so out of 250000 we have received 249000 so 1000 it calls in arrears right so that gives us the calculation that if 1000 are the calls in arrears and the allotment money was 5 rupees per share that means on 200 shares we haven't received the allotment money now you have to keep this in mind because this will be required later on in the further calculations so let's write it down here 200 into 5 okay similarly let's now make the first and final call due which is 2 rupees per share on 50,000 equity share that means it is 1 lakh right and on the call money we have received 99,400 which is already mentioned in the question right so that means out of 1 lakh we haven't received 600 rupees okay so that is the money which is calls in arrear now again we have to calculate on how many shares we did not receive the call money call money was 2 rupees per share on 600 total 600 rupees we haven't received that means on 300 shares we haven't received the call money okay so and this 300 includes the 200 shares of allotment money that we did not receive now this is important because very soon we'll be doing the for feature and this concept is required there now see here the company forfeited those shares on which both allotment and call money was not received right so now you have to understand here that on 200 shares we haven't received the allotment money as well as the call money so don't get this wrong this is important to keep in mind okay so allotment and call are on 2200 shares so that will be so the equity share capital account will be debited with 2000 rupees right during for feature now calls in arrear as I always say calls in arrear means the amount that you have not received on these shares 
so we haven't received the allotment money which is 5 per share and call and the call money which is 2 per share so 7 rupees per share we haven't received so that makes it 1400 and share forfeiture means the money we have received on this so we have only received the application money which is 600 3 into 200 right the forfeiture is done now the question says that 70 percent of the forfeited shares were reissued at rupees 7 per share fully called up right 70 percent now if you get these 200 shares wrong then your reissue will be wrong as well because you will get the wrong amount here so 70 percent of 200 is 140 the 140 shares are reissued at rupees 7 per share so that makes it 980 rupees that is the issue price okay so how much discount are we giving that in that case on 140 shares we are giving a discount of 3 rupees per share which is 420 rupees and equity share capital will be 140 into 10 which is 1400 and these two also are adding up to 1400 so my reissue entry is done as well now capital reserve the profit on reissue to be transferred to capital reserve now in this case the amount that we have forfeited on per share is rupees 3 as we did here and the discount that we have given on reissue is also rupees 3 right that is what we have done as a calculation let's write it here that is a discount we have given that means the company has not made any profit on reissue that means here the amount will be nil so important for you to understand otherwise you may get this wrong coming to the next portion you can see the workings as well the amount forfeited per share is 3 discount on reissue per share is 3 as well so profit on forfeiture profit on forfeiture and reissue is 0 okay So this portion is done next the question says the company paid share issue expenses of rupees 20,000 which were completely written off at the end of the year so let's make the entry first share issue expenses account debit to bank account this is the payment entry and these were written off next the sentence says that the company had 15,000 in its securities premium reserve account so as per the rules first the share issue expenses will be written off from securities premium reserve and any balance left over will be written off from the statement of profit and loss account right so these are the set of journals that we have for this sum for 10 marks hope this was helpful if you have any questions do let me know in the description in the comments box below i'll help you out thanks for watching we'll catch you all in the next video for the next set of sums that we have sorry thanks for thanks for watching